Of Time and the River is a novel written by Thomas Wolfe and published in 1935. The novel follows the life of Eugene Gant, a young man who dreams of becoming a writer and struggles to find his place in the world. The novel is a coming-of-age story that explores the themes of time, memory, and the search for meaning in life. The novel is divided into three parts, with each part representing a different stage in Eugene's life. The first part, From the Mountains to the Sea, covers Eugene's childhood in rural North Carolina. In this section, Wolf vividly portrays Eugene's family life and his experiences growing up in a small town. The writing is descriptive and evocative, and the characters are well-drawn and realistic. The section is filled with rich imagery and detail, providing a vivid picture of life in early 20th century North Carolina. The second part, The University, follows Eugene as he attends college in the North. This section is notable for its portrayal of college life in the early 20th century, and Wolfe's descriptions of campus culture and the intellectual and social trends of the time are fascinating. The section is also notable for its exploration of Eugene's relationships with women, particularly his love affair with Esther Jack. Wolfe's writing is at its best in this section, with the prose flowing smoothly and the characters coming to life on the page. The third part, The City, covers Eugene's adult life in New York City. This section is a stark departure from the first two, with the writing becoming more fragmented and disjointed. This is intentional, as it reflects Eugene's own fragmented state of mind as he struggles to come to terms with his past and find his place in the world. The section is filled with existential musings and introspection, as Eugene grapples with the meaning of his life and his place in the universe. Throughout the novel, Wolfe's writing is characterized by its lyrical, almost poetic quality. His use of language is rich and complex, and he has a talent for vividly describing even the most mundane experiences. His writing is also notable for its emotional depth, as he delves deep into the psyche of his characters and explores the human condition with honesty and insight. The novel is also notable for its use of symbolism and metaphor. The river which appears throughout the novel, represents the passage of time and the relentless flow of life. The novel also contains references to mythology and literary works, reflecting Wolfe's interest in these subjects and his belief in the importance of literature and art in human life. In conclusion, Of Time and the River is a masterful work of literature that explores the human condition with depth and insight. The novel's exploration of time, memory, and the search for meaning in life is both poignant and thought-provoking, and Wolfe's writing is characterized by its lyricism and emotional depth. The novel is a must-read for anyone interested in literature, and is a testament to the enduring power of the written word.